Random House Audio presents Become Who You Were Born To Be We All Have A Gift Have You Discovered Yours by Brian Souza This is the author, Brian Souza How This Book Can Change Your Life As Americans, we live in the wealthiest society in the history of the planet, yet today clinical depression rates are ten times what they were in 1945 during World War II. Living standards in the United States have skyrocketed sixfold in the past century, yet today a greater percentage of Americans commit suicide than they did in 1900. We work 20 fewer hours a week than our great grandparents did and enjoy three times as many leisure hours as they had, yet today upward of 80% of American workers list job stress as a major problem. In contrast, seven out of ten Nigerians live on less than a dollar a day and the average person doesn't live to see his or her 52nd birthday. Yet today, a greater percentage of Nigerians than Americans consider themselves very happy. Paradoxical? Yes. Alarming? Absolutely. But surprising? Not really. Not when you look closely at the data and consider how far and how fast we've evolved as a society. The Economic Problem From the Stone Age, some 100,000 years ago, until the industrial age of the 19th century, attempting to solve the economic problem provided both meaning and purpose to people's lives. In the Stone Age, a constant struggle to provide sufficient food, clothing, and shelter gave people a reason to wake up each morning and face yet another difficult day. Back then, the primary purpose of human existence was to beat the odds and just survive. Fortunately, for the majority of Americans today, this is no longer the case. For the first time in history, the biggest menace facing the Western world is not the ravages of a great famine, the outbreak of a horrible disease, or even the death toll of a massive war. The biggest threats facing this generation are the commercially created values of instant gratification, maniacal self-absorption, and perpetual discontent. We want what we want when we want it, and even when we get it, we still aren't happy and will probably want more. Pessimists believe that our country's best days are behind us. They speculate that America's immense wealth and insatiable greed will inevitably lead to its own undoing, as happened with the Greeks, Egyptians, Romans, and Spaniards. But I believe in the character of the American people. I know our best days are ahead of us. I believe that we will finally come to realize that the highest level of living can only be achieved through giving. And I believe that we as a collective society, will pull together and use our tremendous wealth and influence to bring peace and prosperity. Sample complete. Ready to continue?